may dump it right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I mean, I'm just kind of giving you full warning, so. Big ones. It's pretty. Did you Spots. get it? Spots. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, you put the paddle and you can either drag it yeah. and turn, and that'll turn you quick, yeah. which is probably what you kind of need to be doing here. Yep. Or you could back pedal. Sure. Well, hey, McFly subscribers. So I'm here with Paul from, uh, he has a YouTube channel called Killer Fuzz. And um, he's taking me out kayak fishing. We're on the Guadalupe, uh, the upper Guadalupe? The upper Guadalupe. Okay. And uh, we got a couple kayaks here. He's gracious enough to let me borrow one. Let's go give it a try. So we're going to go down and then we're going to have to kayak back upstream um, up to the spot so we can get the, the truck. So um, hopefully my arms can handle that. Um, been a while since I've done some kayaking. So um, anyway, let's get out there and catch some fish. So right about here I started to go sideways, and I was really worried I was going to dump. But luckily, I was able to get it going straight again. Well, I made it safely through the rapids there, and we pull up a side onto the bank to get our rods ready. So I set up my Risen Genesis and Gideon 8 weight here with a new streamer I came up with. And I do plan on making a tying tutorial video on it for you guys soon, so stay tuned. And on my Risen ITB and Armor 5 weight, I set it up as a nymphing rig. So I'm going to have all my bases covered. Well we fished at that spot for a few minutes, but decided to move downstream pretty quickly. Now I did not have a mount on this kayak, so it was tough figuring out how to hold my camera. And I also had trouble managing the kayak on a moving river and also while fishing. It seemed like I was getting tangled up non-stop. Well we ended up getting to another rapid section, and we got out and started fishing just past it. I fished that new streamer, and sure enough, I hooked a bass. I mean, nothing really large, but it was nice to have something on the line. Then we got back in our kayaks and I started fishing a fly called the 20 inch or stone fly. I'll link a tutorial on tying that fly in the description section for you. Well anyway, that worked. I hooked into something really big. And at this point in the fight I wasn't sure what it was, but I suspected a catfish. And yep, I was right, it was a catfish. It was really stripping line. Kinda not budging much. It actually pulled the kayak around a little.
Wow, nice catfish. I'm sure they get bigger here, but it was sure fun on that five weight rod. Then we came down to another area that we could get out and wade. So we fished here for a while and got a few fish including another catfish. I didn't bring my bag with me, and I didn't have any pliers to get the hook out of its mouth. But Paul found me a pair of forceps that I was able to remove the hook with. Now this underwater footage didn't turn out as expected. Well, by now it was getting kind of late, so we decided to make our way back, fishing the banks and the kayak on the way. I did get quite a few sunfish along the way, including something that broke me off. Well, all in all, I had a wonderful time. Big thanks to Paul for allowing me to use one of his kayaks. I really appreciate it, man. Well, hey guys, I had a great time. Um, it was a blast. Here he comes with a truck. Going with the truck. Anyway, um, definitely check out his YouTube channel. He does a lot of this stuff. He films uh, kayak and fishing and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's hot fuzz. I'll link it in the description section, but I had a great time, guys. Uh, I caught a lot of fish. Um, we're going to go load up the truck here in a second with all of our stuff right there. And we'll see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. Oh, yeah. Go check out Risen Fly Rods. That rod performed flawlessly.